My name is Sam Vaknin, and I am the author of Malignant Self-Love, Narcissism Revisited. When a woman with mental health issues is sexually or otherwise rejected by her intimate partner, she acts out. And she acts out in one of two typical ways. This is especially true if the husband or intimate partner also justifies his sadistic cruelty by adding abuse and overt humiliation to the aforementioned rejection. Such an intimate partner can say, you are ugly, you do not turn me on, you do not know how to be a woman, uh, you are stupid, you are repulsive, you are whorish, you do not understand my sexual and psychological needs, and so on and so forth. Verbal abuse and psychological abuse have many forms, and many intimate partners are very creative. The union then devolves into a power match. The personality disordered um, member of the couple, narcissistic, histrionic, borderline woman, seeks to obtain two goals, to redress her grievances and her sense of offended justice. The first goal is to disprove her partner's assertion, her partner's evaluation of her, and to restore her self-esteem and self-confidence as a desirable woman. She does that by proving mainly to herself how other men desire her. This she accomplishes by becoming a flirtatious, promiscuous and seductive cock teaser. The second goal is to punish her non-intimate partner by rendering his woman, herself, a slut, or by transmogrifying into a non-woman. Now these are two mutually exclusive solutions. The first solution involves egregious sexual misbehavior, and by sexually egregiously misbehaving with multiple men, the rejected woman transforms herself into a whore. This is her way to penalize her abuser by devaluing and debasing his property, herself. But some women choose another solution entirely. They passive-aggressively stop being women altogether. In a way, they unconsciously adopt the abuser's view of them as repellent. They validate the abuser. They neglect their appearance. They abandon their personal hygiene. They dress in tattered and shabby, shabby garb. They put on no makeup. They are physically inert. They neglect their duties, including in business, child rearing, child bearing. This is their way of defying their mean and nasty partner. It's like they are saying, you say that I'm not a woman? Well, here you are. I stop being one. These women eradicate their femininity and womanhood as a way of getting back at their mistreating spouse.